Hey everybody, welcome to Comic Garden. This is Billy with the Funko Corner. This week's review is going to be on the new Infinity Wars Hulkbuster and the two Incredible Hulks that were from Thor Ragnarok. I've got the regular one and the Walmart exclusive, so stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome back to Comic Garden TV where all geek culture collides. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos. So, like I said, first up, we're going to have the two Incredible Hulk Ragnarok figures. They are both labeled with different numbers. With This one is 249, and this one is 241. And they have, they're basically similar. There's slight differences. It's like, like the helmet and the weapon, of course, but everything else is exactly the same. They're both bobbles. They're not the fixed vinyl heads. You'll both have the same same outfit, same gauntlets. Just basically a different head and a different weapon. But they are both really, really cool looking. I like them both. And they both have some pretty good heft to them. This one has a little bit more just because of the helmet. Is that the, that's right, isn't it? Yeah. But they're really cool. I like they did a really good job. They do the even the even the paint and stuff like that. So I like them. I like them both, so I had to have them both. I believe there is a third, third one out, which is the giant one. I know they have the giant one, which is this one in the giant form. And it's a Target exclusive. They discontinued it because the hammer kept breaking, so they discontinued that pop, and so we will uh -huh. never get it again. So the people that have it, congrats! I'm jealous of you. But stay tuned, and we'll be doing the Hulkbuster next. One of the key differences from a regular, from the regular pops, like see, this is the casing. It's one solid piece, and then they just pop right on out. And they just slide back in. Let me, I'll show you. Anybody quest Funko knows? They just one solid piece, and this comes straight out. This one they package a little bit different, which I like. And we'll make sure if I got him in the shot. There we go. He is actually in a divider pack. Which makes a lot more sense than trying to put this big hefty pop in one of the single cases. But he is also a bobble. They did a good job. I like the new armor. I wish I had the original to show you the difference. But he's he's wow, he actually slides really good like that. Like, nope, he doesn't have any rollers on him. But he is, he's solid, he's fixed. It's, it's really cool. Got the jetpacks on him down here in his boots. They did a really good job with the detail on him. He even has a little, I don't know if you can see it in his hand. Right there, the blasters in both hands. Especially got the repulsor rays. But he is a he's a he's a pretty heavy pop, and just to show the comparison to the size, he is a little bit bigger, but not much. Width wise, he is can't really do width. Which, yeah, depth wise, he is actually with the Hulk's. This Hulk is about the same about the same size because of the because of his helmet, but. Width-wise, he's, as you can tell, about two of the, two of the normal, well, here's a, here's a normal, uh, here's a normal Funko, so, and it's Aladdin, I, I think Aladdin would lose that fight, even with Genie's help, but, I digress, but this is the Infinity War Hulkbuster, like I said, you got it. And the two Thor, Ragnarok, Incredible Hulks. The Walmart exclusive over here, and then the regular. But, thanks for watching. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, hit the like button. Put your comments down below. And stay tuned next week. I will be doing another review. See you then. Stay cool.